So have you ever found yourself in a situation where you have a data table, but you lack a corresponding shapefile for a map visualization? Or let's say you have a vector layer containing valuable data that you just want to merge with another vector layer to maybe consolidate information or simply gain further insight. If so, this video is tailored for you. So let's begin with a combination of a table and a vector layer. So here in this example, we will join this US counties vector layer with the corresponding population data that's stored on this table file. First, I'll load my vector and table layers into QGIS and then open their attribute tables to find common fields for joining them. Naturally, they may have different names, but the information is really what matters. Once I've identified this common field, I'll open up the layer properties of the vector layer by simply double clicking on it. Next, I'll navigate to this Joins tab. You can click on the green plus icon to add a new join. And here in the Join Layer dropdown, I'll select the table layer. And for the Join field, I'll choose the field from the table layer. And for the target field, I'll grab the field from the vector layer that will be used for the join. Now, down here, I'll activate the Join Fields checkbox. This is where I can select only the fields that I want to join. And then I'll go ahead and use a custom prefix name to easily remember the Join Fields. And I'll click OK. And there you go. Now when I jump back into the attribute table of my vector layer, I have my new field for population. And I can simply grab this layer and save it out with these new attributes. Ding! Let's now explore the combination of two vector layers. Here we're going to merge this US counties vector layer with additional geographical data, such as this other vector layer that has the number of establishments with paid employees for each county. Now, I can accomplish this by either using the same type of join we saw previously or by utilizing the join attribute by field value function, which is going to result in a new layer containing the desired fields. First, I'll bring both of these vectors into QGIS and then have a look at their attribute tables to identify this common field that I'll be using to join them. Next, I'll go to the processing toolbox. If you can't see this, go to the processing drop down menu and select toolbox. I'll search for join attributes by field value in the search bar and then double click on this to open it. Now for the input layer drop down menu, I'm going to select the vector layer representing US counties, then I'll specify the field. And then for the join layer drop down menu, I'm going to select the vector layer containing the number of establishments and again specify the field here. Next, I'll go to this overflow menu and select the fields to copy, which is the total establishments. Now I'll choose a join type, but it's really important to understand what's going on here. So if it's one to one or one to many, it means there's either only one matching feature or multiple matches for one feature respectively. In this case, it's one to one. However, if it's one to many, it will create as many features as matches exist in the join layer. And I can add another custom prefix name to easily remember the join fields. Now I'm going to click run. Once this join is completed, I can open the attribute table of the newly created joined layer to just verify that the desired fields are indeed there. And this will only be saved out as a temporary layer. So I can right click on the layer right here in the layers panel and select export save as. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to hit that thumbs up button, subscribe to our channel and activate notifications. And if you'd like to learn more about QGIS in particular, go check out our QGIS corner playlist, which is somewhere in here. See you next time.